laws of motion. I am going to continue with laws of motion. In the previous video, you have learned about Newton's second law of motion. Now here in this video, I will be explaining about Newton's third law of motion. Now, Newton's first law of motion explains that force is needed to set an object into motion or when there is no force, you know that the object is at rest. That means, first law gives the qualitative explanation of force. In the second law, you have already learned that uh, force produces acceleration. So, in fact, that is the quantitative explanation of force. But, uh, you cannot make out how force is acting. Now that is what you are going to learn in this part that is Newton's third law of motion. Now to understand third law of motion in a better way, I will be giving you all enough sufficient examples. Correct? So I am going to write a statement here since it is related to how force is acting. Okay? So Newton's third law of motion is nothing but to every action to every action there is an equal is an equal and opposite reaction and opposite reaction so there are two forces uh, coming into picture here. One force is the action force and the second one is the reaction force and there should be two objects present. So that means this uh, third, in third law there are two forces and two objects needed to represent this uh, third law. Right? So like for example uh, there is a book on the table. The moment you, uh, now book will have certain weight. So the weight of the book will be acting in the downward direction whereas the table in turn will exert an upward force. So that means there are two forces. One is the downward force to the weight of the book and the upward force is due to the reaction force which is exerted by the table. And you have the book and you have the table. So there are two things on which forces these opposite equal and opposite forces are acting. And another thing is forces will be equal and opposite. Right? Same with another example would be a person walking on the ground. So uh, the feet of the person will be touching the ground as he is walking, he is exerting a downward force, he is trying to push the flow that makes the person move in the forward direction. In turn the flow also will exert a reaction force in the upward direction. So, this is how Newton's third law of motion works. Right? Now, I am going to show you all one demonstration using two springs. Okay? So, I have two spring balances. These are spring balances which are used to measure the weight of an object. Suppose I hold a spring balance firm. The first spring balance, I am holding it firmly. And I am attaching the hook of the first uh, spring balance to the second, to the hook of the second spring balance. Now this end is fixed and I am just trying to pull the, uh, from the hook, by holding the hook, uh, I am trying to pull the second spring balance. So when I am doing so, in fact you find I am trying to pull it in this direction. So you can see, since both the hooks are being attached, so uh, when I am pulling the first, suppose this is the first one and this is the second one, due to the pull of this, this spring balance also gets pulled. Of course this end is firm. So when I try to look at the readings, whatever readings I get on this spring balance, same readings will be observed here. Now again, this is due to Newton's third law of motion. There, is, there are two objects. You have force here, this one, will, my hand is actually pulling the, this spring balance. In turn, this spring balance is exerting a force on the second spring balance. So that is how it works. So it works, uh, 
third law works on the basis of action and reaction. The forces are equal and opposite. Right? So mathematically, you can write it as F force exerted F A B will be equal to F B A. That means force exerted by B on A will be equal to force exerted on B by A. Then we have uh, negative sign. Now what does this negative sign indicate? Negative sign indicates that the direction is opposite. They are equal and opposite. Alright? So in the vector form you can write it this way. Force is a vector for the Alright? So this is. So mathematically if you, uh, sorry, if you want to state as Newton's third law of motion, it is when, you, when, when there is an object uh, exerting a pull on the other object, you find um, object B will exert a pull on object A. In, in turn, object A will exert a pull on it, uh, object B. Alright, so this is Newton's third law of motion. So I'll be giving you uh, two to three examples to make uh, things clear. Uh, when a fisherman uh, sitting in a boat and he is rowing the boat, the, at that time you find the boat moves in the forward direction. Now how is it possible? Now he has the O in his hand. As he is rowing, you find he is trying to push the water in the backward direction. So there is action being done and water in turn pushes the boat in the forward direction. So here also there are two objects. There is water, there is uh, the boat and you have the O's so force is exerted on the O and water enters exert force on the board to push it in the forward direction same uh, 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 another example I can give where a person is walking so when the person is as I already said when a person is walking his feet will be touching the ground his feet will be pushing the ground so that is the force that is the action and ground in turn will uh, exert a force which is the reaction force which helps a person to move in the forward direction. Another example would be like the fisherman is sitting in the boat and he has to move away from the shore. Now at that time what he he would take a bamboo stick and try to push the shore. The moment he tries to push the shore, okay, uh, there is an, uh, he, the moment he pushes that is the action that he is doing and the show in turn will try to push the um, boat in the forward direction. So there, again there are two objects and there are two forces acting in equal and opposite direction. So these are some of the examples uh, related to Newton's third law of motion. Now in the next video I am going to explain about gravitation. Right?